All right, summer schoolers, if you're seeing this, that means you did a wonderful job with two by one multiplication. So today you're going to try three digit by one digit. Notice there is one more parentheses you'll be working with here, but it's essentially the same thing you've done yesterday, just a little bit different. So let's look at it here. First step, go to your ones place. Let's bring him down right to the first parentheses. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, seven times three, we know is 21. Pretty simple, you're just doing your basic multiplication here. Now, let's go to the next step here. Just like you did yesterday, now you're going to the tens place and the ones place. So I'm bringing that seven and that four, and I'm dropping them off in here. But remember, he's not really a 4, but a 40, since it is 43. So, to make this easy, remember we take our 0 away. We say 7 times 4. I know through my math facts that 7 times 4 is 28. So, before I go too far, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 0 that I got rid of for a second. I'm going to drop him off right in the 1's place. Next, I look at my 7 times my 4. I put my 28, and I line up my place values. Now it's perfect for adding, but I do have one more parentheses left. So let's look at that there. I've got my 100's place and my 1's place. So let's bring him down here. We're going to do 7 once again times... 200. The reason why it's 200 and not just 2 is it's 243. So that means this number is in the hundreds place. So when you multiply 7 by it, you know that it's actually 200 and not just 2. So let's do the fancy dancy work again. Two zeros go away. 7 times 2, that should be pretty easy. We know that's 14 through our math facts. But before we go too far, Let's take those two zeros, drop them back off in place values, tens and ones. I took these two zeros, dropped them back off. Now I put my seven times my two, which I know was 14. Notice how my place values are perfectly lined up. My two and my eight, all of these here are perfectly lined up. Same thing with my ones, my hundred, or my hundreds and my thousands. So now, Let's solve. 0, 0, and 1 gives me 1. 8 and 2 in my tens place gives me 10, so I drop the 0, carry the 1. 4 and 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, and then drop down my 1 since there's nothing else to add it to. That gives me an answer. 243 times 7 is 1,701.